and welcome everybody to Dr. Luke on Call, where you get accurate medical information. I'm Dr. Skaltberger, and I truly believe that it's because of a lack of knowledge that people perish. And it's because of a lack of knowledge that you will struggle to stop a bleeding wound. In this episode on how to, we're looking at how to stop bleeding, especially in wounds. What is very important to know is that in your body you have two types of blood vessels. Number one, arteries. Number two, veins. What's the big difference? An artery has got a thick wall, muscle lining, it's got high pressure inside and it generally takes blood from the heart to the rest of the body with a lot of oxygen in it. The veins have got a thin wall, thin muscle lining, low pressure, generally brings blood back from the organs to the heart. That switches around when it goes to the lung. So what is the obvious problem? When you injure an artery, there will be a lot of blood loss because there's a lot of pressure. When you injure a vein, there won't be a lot of blood loss if you do the right thing. Where do we find veins and arteries? Arteries are the ones that have a pulse, that have a pulse rate. So if you can feel your pulse, you can't see this artery, but you can feel it. You can't see the deep one in the neck, the carotid, but you can feel it. The ones you can see through the skin, on your hands, on your feet, on your legs, in your neck, even on your forehead, they are veins and they've got low pressure. So when you injure them, they're not that difficult to keep under control. However, when we injure an artery, it's important to do the right thing and to do it quickly. So what do we do and what don't we do? Do's. Do apply direct pressure with a cloth or a piece of gauze. Do raise the affected area above the level of the heart if you can, because it will reduce the pressure. And do apply something cold or ice on the area because a cool environment constricts or makes the blood vessels smaller so that there's less blood flow. Do not remove the pressure if bleeding comes through the cloth. Rather apply additional cloth or gauze on the wound. Do not use continuous running water because rinsing it continuously will prevent blood clot formation. Do not keep cleaning and wiping the area because you clean off all the blood clots and the body is really trying to help you with clotting and you're working against your own body. So those are important points to remember. For the medical personnel, doctors and nurses, it's fairly easy to control wounds and bleeding because most of them are vein injuries and vein bleeds. When we have an arterial injury, it's a bit more difficult. You have to often apply a clamp on the artery. That's what you see in the movies when it's blood squirting with a big wound and in a leg wound, they have to put a clamp on, they've got to put a tourniquet on. That's all for arterial bleeds. They are much less common and not such a big uh, concern for general wounds. Even if we do get an artery, artery that bleeds, the mainstay treatment will still be to apply enough pressure on it and get medical attention. So I hope this was helpful that you understand that we're always dealing with two types of bleeds. Generally what you would see when you bump your toe, when you cut your finger, is a vein bleed. Even a head wound that can bleed quite a lot, most often are, are venous blood and vein bleeds. So stick to the basics, apply the pressure, do not remove the pressure bandage on it until you have medical help or medical attention. I hope this was helpful. Click the like button and the next video on how to, we will discuss something new, give some comments down the bottom and say what you would like me to talk about and I'll gladly do that. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of the videos and um, we'll speak soon. Thank you for watching, stay safe and stay healthy.